Hey there, Nick Jutakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to count the number of git commits in a specific project. So we can do a git rev list count all, which will give us a grand total across all the branches. We can narrow the scope of that down to a specific branch, let's say head, which is the currently checked out branch. And we can see that we have 281 here on the main branch. You can also do some other filters here. For example, no merges and merges. This will give you the merge commits versus not merge commits. And you can see that they do add up to the total here. There's also quite a few other ones that we can add. For example, we can do since, let's say uh, 30 days. I've actually done a more detailed video in the past using the git short log command, which will give you details about certain commits. For example, we can do git short log uh, all, and then you can do something like a summary, which is pretty nice. It just gives you a number of all the commits by a specific user. That video goes into some more little filters that you can add. It just so happens that some of these filters or most of them will apply to rev list as well. Now, you might be thinking though, like, when would you actually want to get the number of, uh, you know, commits here to a specific project? And I actually had two different use cases come up pretty recently. Uh, one of them was for this project initiative I have here, where I have a whole bunch of different starter apps that run Docker in various different web frameworks. So I have one for Flask and Rails and Django, as well as Node and Phoenix. And I kind of just wanted to get an idea of like how much time I, am I spending in each one of these different projects here. So one way to do that quickly was just to kind of get the number of commits in each project. Now, I do end up being the primary author in all of these. I do have some folks who have committed to the projects. For example, uh, the Phoenix one here has a couple of different contributors. But yeah, I mean, overall, it's not just my own commits, it's commits by everybody. And I figured, you know what, running commands like we just saw here, like for example, the get rev list count all, it gave me a baseline number just to be able to determine like, okay, cool, like there's 200 82 commits here in the Flask repo, but there's like, you know, 320 in the Rails repo or something like that. I can be like, okay, cool. You know, I'm spending a little bit more time in the Rails repo. Maybe I'm updating it more frequently or things like that. So that's pretty neat, I guess. And then another use case was I was doing a little bit of uh, some client work and they have a number of different services. And we were basically just trying to get a high level overview very quickly and how much time different developers were spending in different services. And it wasn't so much like, you know, developer uh, John or Alice or whatever was working on service B. It's more along the lines of just like how much time is being spent on the service themselves. So, you know, we didn't really need to get like author information and things like that. We just needed a count number. And yeah, just doing a rev list count on that kind of just helped us figure out like, hey, we're spending a little bit of time here. And uh, in that case, you know, a service maybe won't get a lot of commits just because maybe the service is done. So yeah, this is where you can do something like, uh, you know, since like 30 days or whatever, just to give you a little bit more idea of like, is this thing actually active now? Or maybe it was more active in the past. So yeah, you can combine these little flags here to uh, figure out whatever use case uh, solutions that you need for whatever you're working on. And uh, that's gonna be it for this one. So yeah, let us know in the comments below, when was the last time you needed to count your get commits here? What use case were you trying to solve? And if you liked the video, please give it thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.